Today we're taking a look at the xcopy command. xcopy has several advantages over copy and replace. From the ability to copy files and directories, copying only files with the archive attribute, and copying files that have been changed since a date specified. There are eight switches for the xcopy command, and we'll go over each one. Let's start with the switch slash a. This only copies files with the archive attribute, and the archive attribute will stay on the files from the source disk after they are copied. Next, let's take a look at the slash m switch. This works very similar to slash a in only copying files with the archive attribute. However, using slash m will remove the archive attribute from the files on the source disk. This tells MS-DOS that the files have not changed since the last time it was backed up, so it doesn't need to be backed up again. We can check this by repeating the slash A switch. And as you can see, there were zero files that were copied. The next switch that we were going to look at is slash D. This switch requires us to enter a date. The date is in the same format you use for the date command. Two digits for the month, followed by two digits for the day, and traditionally two digits for the year. However, it does not understand the year 1-6. So we can, and had to, use the four digits for the year, which DOS did thankfully understand. Now let's look at the slash S switch. This is going to copy all of the files and subdirectories as long as the subdirectory is not empty. Now we'll look at the slash E switch. Like slash S, this is going to copy all of the files and subdirectories but with E, it will even copy the empty directories. Next up is slash P. This is going to prompt us for confirmation before it copies any files. So just pressing the Y key or the N key is going to confirm. The only time you need to press enter is when it's prompting to overwrite. Next we have the slash V switch. Slash V is going to verify each file as it's copied. This does slow down the operation, but is very useful when copying files over to a floppy disk to ensure everything was copied correctly. I'm looking at UT2, the arcade game. Now we have the slash W switch. This will require you to press a key before the operation begins. This is great if you need to switch a disk in the floppy drive, or if you need to put a disk in the floppy drive. One last note on the xcopy command. It will ignore files with the hidden or system attribute. You can remove the attribute and then copy the files, but it won't copy them on its own as long as the attribute is there. 